Jake was a dog wrapped in black and white fluff and he lived in a house full of laughter and love but what Jake loved most was that one time of the year when, when visiting saw and food. That's right, Christmas was here! Jake sat by the tree 24th of December waiting to constantly think, will Santa remember? For last year when Santa had popped down the... The fur. He had it panted on uh, Jake and said, How do you do? Jake listened intensely, his spinal tingle. When above him were footsteps and a very slight jingle. Just by the fireplace, loading soft with a poof, sat. Stood Santa in red, he had come down from the roof. He sat down, picked up cookies and milk, stood off his hat made of magical and silk. He snapped up the biscuit and passed off to Jake. Happy Christmas, old friend. Think I'll take a quick break. Santa exhausted, thought I'll just close my eyes before I return to click Crisscross in the skies. One hour turned to three when I woke up with a start. I'm late, Jake. I yelped. It's time to depart. Depart. Right. Now let's. Santa stood quickly, knocking over his sack, spilling presents that took almost one year to pack. The. Gifts. They went everywhere, filling the room. Santa said, help, Jake. I have to leave soon. Santa was grabbing from high and from low. So in all of the rush, how was he meant to know that as he proclaimed, Jake, thank you, I'm ready, he pa- had packed in his Bag Jake's favourite teddy, Elephant Dead, was shoved into the sack and Santa was gone. Jake must get him back as footsteps were heard outside leaving the floor. A black and white streak headed straight to the door. The sound of the jingle bell started to go. Jake ran and he ran, he just needed to know. Which way had the sleigh gone? Where was it at? When from out of an alley came a big ginger cat. Now everyone knows dogs are disliked by cats, but it's Christmas at, and at Christmas cats even like rats. So when Jake stood behind, beside him and said, where do we go? The kite pointed down to the prints in the snow. The footprints were leading through the bushes and trees and the snow came right up to Jake's cold old knees but Jake kept on going on his snowy night hike when he met with a creature a hedgehog named Spike so Spike listened closely to Jake's Christmas tale and Spike had to help him no Jake could not fail so Spike looked around and right over Jake's head were bows from present the one gold and one red. Jake sniffed the red bow. bow. The gold bow. He knew that running this way was a right thing to do. Right thing to do. He ran on when out of a forest there stood a house big and dark made completely out of wood. Trotting up carefully, sniffing the ground, Jake heard the scratch and the squeak, squeakety sound. Jake walked around to the front of the house when he saw on the doorstep, Derek, Derek the mouse. Derek sat smiling and extending his paw with his little mouse finger pointed right at the door. Go through there, Jakey. Head straight down the hall, Jake pushed through the door and then heard the call. Jake headed down to the room at the end and there by the fire said 
his big jolly friend Santa sat smiling and patted Jake's head. I believe this is your golden elephant Ted. But that is not all. As he reached round his back, there is one special gift in my magical sack. He, he passed him a colour of wavy with design that was utterly brave. Breathtaking, perfect design.